when you're young, you're healthy, you undergo stress and the stress can cause cells to invoke a number of different sulfates. So uh, a damaged or stressed cell could undergo apoptosis, programmed cell death or some other cell death pathway. There is transformation where a stressed out cell or damaged cell could become a cancer cell. And then there's also cellular senescence where the cell becomes senescent so it's no longer able to typically proliferate. Usually there's a stable cell cycle arrest. And you know, that's great. Maybe you prevented a damaged or stressed out cell from becoming you know, uh, cancerous, but these cells are metabolically active and they take on a secretory phenotype and release these soluble factors in what is known as the senescence associated secretory phenotype or SAS. And a lot of these inflammatory factors are things like interleukins, um, you know, other chemokines, cytokines, matrix metalloproteases. And what they can do is damage adjacent tissues, sometimes even causing secondary senescence, as well as sort of feeding back on themselves to re-stimulate them. And these SAS factors can hit the bloodstream and sort of act in long distances in almost like an endocrine fashion as well. Uh, but these senescent cells, you know, they're, we're learning more and more about them. There's a lot of features that they can take on, whether it's morphological changes, changes in metabolism. We see DNA damage, of course, the cell cycle arrest. They resist apoptosis, the secretory phenotype, and even epigenetic alterations as well. Um, but I will uh, caution people that senescent cells aren't a monolith. They're really heterogeneous. Um, there's quite a mixture. There's no universal uh, cellular senescence marker. And so it takes a lot of work to sort of define what a senescent cell is. But, you know, where they're really damaging is that secretory phenotype. And that secretory, secretory phenotype can contribute to this phenomenon that's known as inflammaging. And inflammaging is as we get older, there's this increase in low grade kind of chronic sterile inflammation. It's almost like you have a low grade infection, but you don't. And so it's quite damaging to your tissues and sort of, you know, it's the thief of vitality as I like to call it. And so it can help to drive a number of chronic age related diseases, or if you have some type of challenge, it can cause an over response or make things worse. Probably in the case of patients with infections, it can cause uh, these pre-primed immune cells to release cytokine storms. So it can be quite damaging.